So you wanna go ultralight, but you need room for three. Is that even possible? I had the same question and in my search found five ultralight three-person tents that I thought were worth considering. Stick around and I'll tell you about each of those tents, including one in the $300 range and why I chose this one. Let's get into it. What's up, Dirt Junkies? My name is Jeff, and thank you for stopping by Dose of Dirt. Since you clicked on this video, I'm guessing you are looking for a light three-person tent. I was recently on the same search, and so wanted to share what I found out as far as tents that might be worth considering. My only requirement in this tent search was that it weigh less than three pounds all in. Poles, stakes, everything else, I needed it to be less than three pounds, which for a three-person tent, that is actually pretty light. In fact, in my search, I was surprised by a few tents that are touted as ultra-light, but are actually more than four pounds. Like the Nemo Dagger 3, for example. That tent weighs four pounds, four ounces. I'm sure it's a great tent, but I needed a three-person tent lighter than that. The reason I needed a three-person tent is because on my trips, I'll often take my two Huskies, Luna and Kaya, a family member or two, or some friends. So I wanted room for three in my ultralight tent. I didn't want to have to buy a one-person tent and a three-person tent just one big investment that would work for all of my trips. Before we jump into the tents, let me know in the comments why it is that you're looking for a three-person tent. Are you taking dogs, family, friends? In my search, I came up with five tents worth considering that ranged in price from $369 all the way up to $1,200. All right, let's jump into the tents. The five tents we'll be talking about are the Z-Pax Triplex, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall Platinum, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall Carbon, the MSR Carbon Reflex 3, and the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3. Rather than walking through each tent on its own, I wanna talk about different features on each of the tents at the same time so it's easier to compare and contrast. I'll put bookmarks in the description below so if there's a particular feature you're super interested in, you can jump ahead to that easily. The things we'll be talking about on each tent are the size, including the area of the footprint, the vestibule size and the height, the material that each are made out of, definitely the weight, what might not be included in the purchase price of the tent, such as stakes or trekking poles, and then of course the price of each of the tents. First, let's talk about the size of each of them. This is important because if you've slept in more than one tent, you realize that Every three-person tent is not made equal. The footprint measurements for each of these tents are readily available, so I'll put each of these here on the screen as we talk through them. The Z-Pax Triplex actually comes in as the longest or tallest at 90 inches, and it's 68 inches wide. I will put all of the measurements in metric down here on the screen. For reference, I am six feet tall. I think that's a pretty average height. That is 72 inches, which means that the Z-Pax Triplex is 18 inches taller or longer than I would be lying down. 68 inches wide if there's three people in there. Theoretically, that would give each of them room for a 23 inch pad. The next two, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall Carbon and Tiger Wall Platinum, the measurements are the same on each of them, comes in at 88 inches long and then 66 inches wide on one end and 60 inches wide on the other end. You'll notice that some of the tents have two measurements for the width. That's because they're a little bit wider at one end and a little narrower at the other end. Typically that would be because you would have all three heads on one end of the tent and then feet towards the other end of the tent. I should mention here, you will notice a lot of similarities between the Big Agnes Tiger Wall Platinum and the Big Agnes Tiger Wall Carbon. That's because they're essentially the same tent other than the materials that they're made out of. Lighter materials on the Tiger Wall Carbon. The footprint of the fourth tent, which is the MSR Carbon Reflex, comes in at 84 inches long, so just a little bit shorter than the Big Agnes tents, and 68 inches wide. Then the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3 comes in at 84 inches long, and then 70 inches wide on one end, and 68 inches wide on the other end. You'll see in the numbers below on the screen that the Z-Pax Triplex has the largest overall area, and it's because of that extra length of being 90 inches long. The Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3 is a little bit wider at 70 inches, but it narrows down to 68 at the base. Overall, it looks like you'll have the most room in the Z-Pax Triplex. For me, that's a big consideration because if you've got three people in there, a three-person tent can get pretty crowded, pretty quick. And I really like extra room at my head and my foot so I don't brush the foot box of my sleeping bag or quilt up against the tent and pull some condensation out of my sleeping bag accidentally. Now we should also quickly mention the height. The Z-Pax Triplex has a peak height of 48 inches. Both of the big Agnes tents have a peak height of just 42 inches. The MSR Gear Reflex is even a little bit shorter at 40 inches. 
and then the tarp tent rain shadow is right there in the middle at 43 inches. The Z-Pax Triplex is the tallest, the MSR is the shortest, and the others are somewhere in the middle. The other important thing with tent size is the number and size of the vestibules. This can be important if you're actually putting three people into that tent because you may want to keep your backpacks, shoes, or other gear under those vestibules. The Z-Pax Triplex actually has the smallest vestibules that only extend about 21 inches away from the tent. The others are much more generous. The Big Agnes tent's vestibules are 26 inches deep, the MSR is about 24 inches deep, and the tarp tent rain shadow is 26 inches deep as well. So the Z-Pax Triplex has the smallest vestibules. There are vestibules on both sides. In fact, all of these tents have vestibules on both sides except for the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3. It's an interesting tent design with only one vestibule and actually only one door on one side of the tent. So take that into consideration as well. So as far as overall size, I would say for me, the Z-Pax Triplex seems to win in this category because of the 90 inches of length as well as the 48 inches of peak height. I would like a larger vestibule, but that doesn't necessarily bother me. All right, let's move on to whether these tents are freestanding, semi-freestanding, or require trekking poles. First up, the Z-Pax Triplex. This is not a freestanding tent. It does require two trekking poles in order for you to put it up. You'll need to consider that as part of the cost if you don't already have trekking poles or if you don't typically use them. Both of the big Agnes tents are semi-freestanding, which means that they come with poles, but you'll need to make sure you stake out the tent well or it's not going to stand up very well. The MSR gear tent is also a semi-freestanding, meaning you won't need trekking poles, but you will need to stake it out properly. And the tarp tent rain shadow three requires one trekking pole. You get one pole that goes across the door in the front of the tent, and then you require one trekking pole at the foot end of the tent or the non-door side of the tent. It's really hard to select a winner or a loser in this category because it really depends on your personal preferences. Another really important consideration when you're talking about your tent, especially ultralight tents, is whether they are single or double walled. A double wall tent might not have two walls, but it will have one mesh layer and then one layer that's a rain fly or a solid material. What I have heard is that single wall tents can have more condensation issues because they're not as well ventilated and you also don't have that mesh layer inside of the rain fly, potentially protecting you from accidentally grazing up against that rain fly and pulling some condensation in onto your gear. So not a big deal to me whether it's single or double walled, but something to consider. The Z-Pax Triplex is a single wall tent, which means there's just one layer of fabric. There isn't an additional layer of mesh between you and the outside. Both the Big Agnes tents are double wall tents as well as the MSR Gear Reflex. For the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3, it looks like based on the pictures that it's a single wall tent. I sent them an email to ask them to confirm if that was the case, but I haven't heard back so far. If anybody has used a Rain Shadow 3 and you know I'm completely wrong that it's a double wall tent, please let us know in the comments. But as far as I can tell, it's a single wall tent. So the Z-Pax Triplex and the Rain Shadow 3 are the two single wall tents where the Big Agnes and the MSR Gear tents are double wall tents. Typically a double wall tent means more material and more weight. Something else to consider when making your tent decision. Now, I know we all really wanna talk about weight, but before we get to the weights of each of these tents, let's talk about one more important aspect, and that is the material that each of these tents are made out of. The Z-Pax Triplex is made out of a material that is becoming ever more popular these days in backpacking, and that's DCF or Dyneema Composite Fabric. It's a super light, super strong fabric that seems to be able to hold up to anything other than severe abrasions. It's a fantastic backpacking material. As far as the big Agnes tents, up until this point, I've kind of been talking about them as one, but this is where they become two very different tents. For the big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Platinum, it is made out of a ripstop nylon. The big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Carbon has some DCF or Dyneema composite fabric with the other materials. The bathtub floor and the rainfly are both made out of Dyneema, and then the rest of the tent is made out of nylon. When we talk about the weights, you'll see a big difference between the Tiger Wall Platinum and the Carbon because of this difference in materials. The MSR Gear Reflex Carbon is also made out of nylon as well as the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3. So really very similar materials across the board, except for the Z-Pax Triplex, which is made fully out of DCF or Dyneema Composite Fabric, as well as the Big Agnes Tiger Wall Carbon, which in addition to the nylon has some pieces of the tent that are made out of Dyneema. So if I had to choose a preferred fabric, it would probably be DCF or Dyneema rather than ripstop nylon. Again, a big benefit there being the weight. So let's talk about weight. 
The Z-Pax Triplex comes in super light at just one pound, 5.9 ounces. Ridiculously light for a three person tent. But that weight does not include the stakes or the poles. Whereas each of the other tents we'll talk about come with stakes and poles. And so those weights are included in the overall weights that we'll talk about as part of this video. It's important when we think about the weight of the Z-Pax Triplex that we also include the weight of the stakes that you're going to use. And if you don't usually take trekking poles, the weight of those as well, because that's additional weight because of your tent. The Big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Platinum comes in at a respectable two pounds, 11 ounces, which is still pretty light considering it's a three person tent and made of nylon. The Big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Carbon comes in much lighter at just two pounds one ounce. To put that in perspective, that's only nine ounces heavier than the Z-Pax Triplex and that weight of the Big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Carbon includes the stakes and poles. That's pretty impressive for a semi-freestanding three-person tent. Two pounds one ounce. The MSR Gear Reflex comes in at a weight of two pounds ten ounces and the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3 comes in as the heaviest at two pounds, 14 and a half ounces. Now I say the heaviest, but that is still pretty light for a three person tent. And one other note on weight, when you're looking at tents online, you'll often see a trail weight or an ultralight weight or a fly weight. They classify weight in a lot of different ways and it's hard to know which one to use. I am using the heaviest weight, which is all in. The stuff sack, stakes, poles, tent body, everything. So if you're looking at any of these tents or any other tents, when you're looking at the weight, make sure you're looking at the all in weight. Quick pause here. If you're getting any value out of this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up below. If you can just give that a quick hit, I would really appreciate it. Now let's talk about price, the almighty dollar. This is a really important consideration when you're talking about your tent, because no matter how cool the tent is, if it's going to cost more than your car, you might not want to buy it. You still might want to buy it, but it's good to know going in. The Z-Pax Triplex price has just gone up to $799. It seems like there's currently a Dyneema shortage. That may be the reason why the tent is more expensive now. Definitely not cheap. The Big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Platinum comes in at $600, so more affordable than the Z-Pax Triplex. And the Big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Carbon comes in at a whopping $1,200. <laughs> Now, maybe the Big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Carbon is your perfect tent and that price is worth it. But for me, I had a hard time justifying paying more than $1,000 for a tent. But there you go. The MSR Gear Carbon Reflex comes in at $650 and the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3 is an extremely affordable, at least in the way of ultralight three-person tents, $369. So if you're looking for a budget, three person sub three pound tent, the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3 could be a really good way to go. So in the price department, the winner is definitely the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3 at $369, but you do pay for it in some additional weight. And the loser, shall we say, is the extremely expensive Big Agnes Tiger Wall 3 Carbon. Some people might think it's worth it, some people must think it's worth it, but for me, that's just a lot for a tent. The other thing you need to consider when you're talking about the total price of your tent is what else you'll need to buy or do after you purchase the tent. For the Z-Pax Triplex, it doesn't come with stakes or poles, which means that if you don't already have stakes or don't already have trekking poles, you will need to purchase those in addition to the tent. For me, I went with a more budget-friendly option. I purchased some aluminum stakes from Wise Owl Outfitters. I think they're made to kind of look like the MSR Groundhog stakes. Unfortunately, I bent one on my very first pitch. I do think it's my fault. I think I didn't have the angle right when I was pushing it into the ground, but I did bend one on my very first pitch, and which doesn't bode well for those stakes. I'll let you know how they continue to hold up. I think I got 12 stakes for about $20. Not that much of an additional cost. The other thing to consider is trekking poles. If you don't have trekking poles, you will need to purchase some. I got some from Cascade Mountain. They were about $40. I'll include a link to those below. They're still pretty light at less than a pound. And if you're already carrying trekking poles or planning to carry trekking poles, it's not really additional weight or cost since you already have them or are planning to get them. The nice thing about the Big Agnes tents as well as the MSR tent is that they are all in. They come with poles, stakes, everything else. If you want a footprint, that would be an additional cost, but that's not something that you need to use the tent. For the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3, you will need one trekking pole in addition to what you're purchasing with the tent. So it's still definitely the budget-friendly option at just $369, 
plus one trek and pull, which you may already be using anyway. And the other thing worth noting on the Rain Shadow 3 is that it does not come seam sealed. All of the other tents either come seam sealed, but for the Tarp Tent Rain Shadow 3, you will either need to seam seal it yourself or pay Tarp Tent $35 and they'll take care of the seam sealing for you. So that was a ton of information. Apologies for the three person ultralight tent fire hose that just came at you through YouTube. With all of that said, why did I choose this tent? Why did I pick the Z-Pax Triplex as my three person ultralight tent? There are a few main reasons why the Z-Pax Triplex was my tent of choice. The first aspect that we talked about was the overall footprint of the tent. It's the tallest and has a good width to fit three people or two people and a dog, one person and two dogs. There's plenty of space in the z pack Triplex, both in the length and width of the tent, as well as the height. The vestibules are a little small, but that doesn't bother me as much since usually it's just my shoes out there. The main attraction to this tent is definitely the weight. As I said, one pound 5.9 ounces. That still honestly just blows my mind. And the reason that's such a priority is because I have some big trips coming up this year where I'm going to have some extremely long water and food carries. My pack's going to be weighed down with those consumable items and I need to save as much weight as I can on big items like my tent. But Jeff, what about the price? $800 for a tent? To me, it was worth it. Compared to my previous three person tent, this one was saving me over four pounds of weight, which is incredible. Four pounds over hundreds of miles is a big time energy savings and that was really important to me. Overall, this is the tent that was worth it to me despite the high cost. So that is why I chose the Z-Pax Triplex. But let me know what you think in the comments. Has this video helped you decide what three person tent you'd like to buy? Is it one of the ones that we've talked about in this video or are you looking in a completely different direction? I would love to know what tent you end up purchasing. So let me know in the comments and remember, life is better with some dirt in it down here on the screen. Hey. That sounds dumb. Uh, yeah. Um, doesn't matter. But I will put all of the measures in. The Big Agnes, Big Agnes. Have I said that enough times already? I think I have. Stop it. <laughs>